All right, this is Camp Calendar. I'm gonna go through and build out the website for you. So once you log into your builder all back office, um, I might go kind of fast on this, but it will be recorded so you can check back on this whenever you need to. Um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, we can always um, do a session and review it as well. Um, but you'll want to go into the che Cheetah website builder. Once you get inside your Cheetah builder, then you'll want to create a new site. Um, you might not have access to the templates since you just have the base login, um, but if it does, you'll want to choose a template. Um, if it gives you the options, there's hundreds of thousands of templates, um, but likely you'll have the blank website or maybe a couple of defaults. Um, so I'll just go with a blank template for now. I'm gonna build this up. And I'm just going to be copying over essentially your other page. So there'll be some tour, tour information. So you can go through this when you get logged in, but I'll show you how to create pages, create different things that you need. Um, but I'm going to skip for now for that, just on the sake of time. Um, but here, this will be your main page. <clears throat> so we're just going to name this one. Name that is home. And then this integration key, what this refers to is your mailing system, which we'll get into that a bit later um, once we get into more advanced. Um, but for now, I just want to build the base of your website to give you an idea. So now we've got it named. We'll go into editing this page. And this is where you can actually build everything. Um, and it'll be by default. We'll just have a couple of different screens. What we'll want to do is add a panel. So we can add all kinds of different things. Uh, there's all kinds of templates and panel options. Um, for this one, I am going to select go to business clean. Um, we can delete this. We don't need this header. Delete this item. Don't need the blank box. I don't need this either. But we just have this template. So with here, this is the background image of it. So what I'm going to do with that, I've already downloaded your image. So this background, I'm going to change this image to your image. So I'm going to upload. I've already downloaded it to my computer. You can do this with any image, you just hit select and you can add any image that's saved on your computer. So this is going to be the new background of your base of your website. You're going to have that there, pretty similar to your other website, and then we'll put the menus over the top of it. So we'll get rid of this text, because this was just based off of the other defaults. So we'll get rid of these this text, but we will leave the button, which I'll build this into other, other pages. So I'm going to edit this button, which you can either do on the side. So I like to do it on the side here. Uh, it's a little bit easier to see than on one page, but we can change the colors of it. We're just gonna change this to a white, which will drag this all the way into the corner to make it white. So you just drag, drag whatever color you want. If you want to make it blue, pink, purple, if you want to match anything. Um, the corners are white and black and then really deep into whatever color you select. So I'm gonna make sure the hover color is the same. And make sure hover text, even though there isn't any, just wanna make sure all those colors are the same. And then I wanna change the headline, which is the words in the middle. 
got already. Let's shop now. That button's done. Now I can drag it, move it, line it up. Um, right here, I'll just click to center it. So now it centers it right on the page. This is an empty box. I'll delete that. All right, so now we've got the base of what opened up to be your page. Originally, we'll put the uh, logo at the top. So what we'll do is we'll straight, strengthen this panel out. Just make it a little bit bigger to give it a little more space here. But you can see how you can just easily drag. This is all drag and drop clickable. To do different things. So if we wanted to add a menu. Actually, I don't want the big menu. I actually want the standard for yours. Big menu is going to be too big for your page. So we'll just drag that over. Now we have the menu. So here's where you can add in your menus. So we can edit these. So this will be pieces of your other page. We had home. We'll change this to catalog. If you want to do that, or we can change it to purses or shoes. Um, you can change it to whichever thing you want. It's easy to order that right now. I'm just copying what you had. See, there's customization where you can do sub menus under it. So if you did want to do catalog and then do sub menu, sub menus under there, and I misspelled that. Policies. We do here. And you have your menus that come across the top of the page. And then if we wanted to space that out a little more, could add another log. And we could add it as a full header if we wanted to. So just depending on how you want to design it. So there's a call, there's a lot of customization that we can do on here. If we want to do that menu there, if we want to do it as this, as a button, uh, different ways that we can do it. I think best design is probably going to be to have your menu over the top. So we'll do that way first, just for functionality standpoint. So I can save this since I already created it. Let's save that. I'll delete it so I can add the other panel first. So we'll add a header and then we'll add element, personal. Now that's added back. Then we'll edit this to be your actual menu.
people. Configure the menus. Work better on here. Submenus. Uh, that's how to look. Catalog. I'll have the sub menu. And then from the catalog, we'll have. menu right. so, and then there's your catalogs there's your menu you have your drop down um, when you preview it you'll be able to actually see the drop down and you have your catalog. And once we publish it, you'll be able to drop down and you'll see those other menus in there. Once we publish the site. I did this and save that. So I might have to do it again. Yeah, I didn't save it. That's all right. I can build it again. Panel. I mean first. Oh, you can see how easy it is to add things, put things back and forth. That'll be in there. That'll drop. There's your policies. This one will actually save it. So we have a little baseline to begin with. So I'll say that. Don't want to publish it just yet. But in which we can change that to be anything else. It could be your shot. It could be this can lead to your cart. Uh, and this could be your search if you want it. And what we can do is you can add your logo. Which I'll download that really quick. So I will take a quick image.
edit that. So this one is the image. Select the file, and I just grab this image right off of your website, one that's already created. I grab that. I'll resize it. Size it a little more. And throw that right up there. Close up this panel. And then boom, there's your image, there's your logo, there's your menu. Pretty much identical to what you have, uh, but you can mess around with the colors and how you want to do it from there. And this will go to your cart once we get that set up and you have this and then you can add in another panel. Uh, but really the shop now button we're going to change this button is going to go to the catalogs, which is going to showcase your products. Um, or we can change this to products if you however you want to label it or name it. And then we're going to add one more panel. I'm going to add the footer. Which we would repeat your menu. Which what I can do is come up to this and I can click on clone. It'll make a copy of it. Then I can drag it down to this other panel. And I can delete this one. So now I've got the same menu. Boom. And it's quick, simple, easy. We'll go ahead and center that. Click center, center that, center that. And we'll center this one as well. And then we'll have your logo just come over a bit. Um, so then we'll have all that. See here, you can see purchase slide for slides sets and that's how that will look um, i'll have your another page that will go to your ig so that's the base of it um, i can copy the other image that you have on your site as well i have another capture tool I'm actually probably going to have to edit that one because you have a black background, um, but I could change this background to black as well. Um, we'll see how it looks really quick. So if we want to add another image. I'm going to add an element, an image. I'm going to take this image. We're going to change the image. We're going to upload more symbols, and we can always find better ones of it as well. But this little image of all your payments accepted, uh, we can put that on there too. So it doesn't look too bad. The black on blue. But we can always change that color because you will have the 3D editor. There's essentially the rebuild of your first front page of your website. And short amount of time. So then we'll save that. And now we'll go into actually building your cart. So go to home, we'll save and exit. And then here on the site, go to the settings. And then super checkout is where you get to add all of your products. And this will connect directly to your, so then you would put in your business name. This is how it's going to show up on their statements. And then you can put in the legal text that you have. I'll resize that a little bit. I'll we'll leave that at that. And then you'd fill in whatever um, your email. Check and grab that. So it's a little bit less that you have to set up. Okay. 
you can put in some information, um, but essentially, once you got everything there, you can send invoices to your buyers. Uh, it'll delete, it'll add that for them. Uh, but what we want to do is um, create product. It should let me do it. Now it's going to make me fill out your full business info. I'm just going to put in mine for right now. Just so that we can get through to your product page. You'll definitely want to come back and uh, update that. So here is where we would add the products. So we create a product. I'll get the image. Download the image. Slides. Add one out. Boom. Down the slide. Put in whatever description that you want to put for the product. Physical. Category. Accessories next. All there. Um, you can put in based on your policy what your refund policy is. You can make that there single payment. Um, if you decide to do coupons, you can add coupons as well. Um, then you just put in your price, which on your site. Taxes would be USD. You put in forty-five dollars for the price. Um, they can also do PayPal. PayPal is already integrated for the e-commerce, um, so that's the easiest way to set it up. Um, then you can do an affiliation. So if you do affiliate that refer sales, you can do that. Um, you can design a checkout process um, if you wanted to customize that much of it. So we can definitely do that if you want to connect in the setup. Um, so you can see a preview of the three-step checkout. You can see how it looks. If they want to check out, it'll show all their items. Then I'll have them continue. You know, whatever they're paying, they'll put in their payment. Once they put in their information, and then boom, they'll put in their card information. They can save it if they want to, then they pay. And it goes on to finish and they'll get a they'll go to a thank you page. And then the two-step just kind of breaks that down and has them enter in all their information and then a confirmation. And you can put a custom and then we can uh, build a thank you page um, for for it. Um, you can have a default, but we can build a thank you page and it'll go to a separate page that'll let them know, yes, your order's been submitted or you know whatever you want to create that as we can do that as uh, you know, where we build that. So right now it's just on the home page, but we can do it on the products page. Uh, we can once we build out those additional pages. So it'll it'll be these different products that'll be on there. Um, once we build out the uh, other pages from the drop down menu, and I'll show you how to do that. We'll have extra thank you page and help pages. Um, 
the mailing boss is the emails. So you can have a follow up automated email that goes out. You can have an abandoned cart email that goes out. So if they put something in their cart and they don't finish checking out, that can automatically be done. Um, you can have thank you and follow up emails. And then we'll build this campaign for you out of mailing boss, which is the email system. So I'll show you how to use that. Um, you won't need restricted area. That's more of an advanced member area field if you were selling digital products, along with these integrations as well. Because yeah, you won't have an e-learning. I mean, you don't really need a online learning to uh, put on slides. Um, but then you have, you know, your shipping. Um, you have your regular shipping, which whatever you charge for, and then free shipping if it goes over a certain amount. And then you have all of that built in. And then this is where you can set up your e-commerce. As far as putting your continue shopping, if you want to have them go back to your products, here's your coupons and the offers, the coupons that you can put in for free shipping. Um, so they can put in once they cross a certain threshold. And then you have different offers that you can create. And then it has a list of all your sales. So all of your information will be in there. Um, if you do do any affiliate offers, you can do that. But everything's going to be all built in here in your super checkout. That's where basically essentially your store will be built. But we'll definitely dive into that once we get into creating more of your website. Um, once we do that, this is just a quick build over. And I'll go into more of these. I uh, just want to give you some quick setups. I know I saved it. Oh, here we go. So I don't want to publish because mine, it will take the site live immediately. And here's where you'll connect your domain. Um, once we get the new domain, let's be able to connect it. Um, once we save it and we go into publishing, it'll ask you if you want to purchase a new domain after we get everything built, um, which we'll do uh, once we do. Uh, So we do the live session together. Yeah, I'll continue working on it. Just wanted to give you this quick little video um, so you can see how easy it is to, to build with it. Um, but Sunday, if not, I'll, I'll keep working on it and get the rest of the images carried over. Um, but just wanted to give you that real quick because I had a little bit of time. I uh, had about an hour to go through. So that's that. Um, I'll have that built for you. Um, I'll put this video up, send it over to you uh, just so you can get that information. Uh, but then if you have questions on it um, while I'm building uh, or in between, um, just let me know. But I'll probably have this built up uh, by Sunday when we meet. All right. Have a good one.